So I had some issues with my mic. So Citadel 3K, I haven't played in a while. Just been busy doing stuff. But we've got our gun bit our gun battleship here, the Leap of Henrietta. I'll let the game auto decide that. And I quite like that name. So yeah, we've got the Leap of Henrietta. We've also got our two scouts. They'll provide bullseyes. I can't remember what radars they have. Okay, they both got parallaxes. We hear you, command. And we got chaff. Guess I show you haven't played this for a while. There we got chaff. So who are we playing with? Uh, we've got on the blue team, Goldstee, Marvin, Moldy, and Ocarino. Team 2, Avalon, Chibade, Chebde, Chebde, JD, and Meth Dancer. So looks like we've got a few people going around uh, to the left. We sort of agreed, look, that's the way that we wanted to go. So we're going to try and capture point A first. If, if I can sort of position maybe in the center. That could be good. We'll see how this goes. I feel like maybe we should have something you, going down to point D. Route, and we've got orders, something going up to point A. These other scouts, Parallax should be able to see most things at a decent orders, at a decent range. And we want to get the leap of Henrietta sort of coming in here. Like a scout from the Booty Bandit, uh, from Meth Dancer. Uh, looks like a locking jamming scout. So he's going right. He's got a gun battleship. Uh, sorry, a gun light cruiser. Oh, okay. A gun light cruiser, a rail heavy cruiser, and another scout by the looks of it. Uh, we've got an Elint track over there. So it looks it's an interesting 3K fleet. I haven't really seen anything like that before. Uh, we've got a lock on a light cruiser though, so uh, that's excellent. Do we have a Intel Center? Yeah, okay, we've brought an Intel Center, so um, that helps. Uh, we're going to put, put a lock on them and also hold the ANZ uh, Catalina. And maybe we'll actually just start moving back a little bit because they're going to come forward. Now, I might move the Leap of Henrietta up. We can start firing, I think, at the Voxels and... Yeah, the Catalina needs to get back. We're locked on target. Let's uh, turn the radar off. It's not going to break. Incoming. We'll be there before you know it. Yeah, okay, so RPF coming from Moldy. Good play there. RPF's one of those ones. It, it's had so many buffs over this year that it's actually really good now. Uh, I quite, quite enjoy bringing um okay hurricanes it's not going to help um oh well, could do no we don't have um electronic warfare on this i think i still need to rework this fleet but they're expending a, a fair amount of missiles we are getting some shots off now the henrietta is not going to be able to see anything at the moment that's there okay so we're not really in a good position i don't think but they're firing so many thunderheads. Awaiting your orders, Commander. Yes, command. Quiet. In fact, what are they firing at? The enemy is Looks like they've just sort of missed. Yeah, we can start firing. Where's the Catalina? Can she lock? Negative command. Out of range. No. Yes, Commander. But the Marcella can. We are securing zone eclipse. Course laid in. So we got our friends jamming, which is good because we need it. Uh, we are putting uh, AP fire onto the Axford. I just want to get some damage going on it. It doesn't necessarily need to uh, kill it yet. Just just get some get some damage on it. That'll be enough. Uh, the Axford going into B. And there is a lot of Thunderhead, so hopefully our friends here can start to jam. Another Axford there. Uh, that's the one we're going to switch targets to. And we might just keep climbing, I think. Uh, no, we won't drop chaff yet. We're fine. 
We're capping D, we're capping E, we're capping C. Uh, okay, I will pop a chaff now. Is my chaff going off? More chaff. Just keep dropping chaff. No need to panic yet. Uh, I think we're in a... In fact, there's... We caught, got D? Yeah, we've got D. All right, let's get out. We're going to move up and around A, I think. There's Moldy's. Do we have a line of sight? I think so. I don't think we do. Our cannons can't fire. Right, I'll keep firing down there. We lost the Catalina, but the Marcella is fine at the moment. Let's actually just bring it up behind this rock. Maybe we can make a dive for B. We're being jammed. Uh, we don't really have any jammers to counter jam, which is unfortunate. But we are with friends, so that's good. Um, so we've got two points. They've got one. Uh, Meth Dancer's doing fine off by himself at the moment. And I think we'll end up getting into like a brawling match here at some point. Turning up the engines now. I think we're just going to drive straight. We're underway. At A. We are en route, Commander. Mm, we can't see that. We can't see down there. We're fine there. Maybe we can make a move towards B. We're underway. Okay, so there's a voxel under there. We don't want to engage with that. We will move the scout back, I think. Where are they? Okay, there he is. Alright, so we'll start putting some fires onto these voxels. Hurricanes. I think we'll be able to put down enough covering fire. The turrets will start to turn around. We are getting some hits. We just can't go too far in front of our friends, I think, because otherwise we'll die. Uh, are they getting B? No. I think we're going to try and slide into B. And then we'll just focus here. So let's keep firing the front and the rear. We'll fire a mix of HE and AP. Basically what I'm trying to do is get the AP to penetrate deep into the voxel and then the HE will come through as well and also support. So um, we've also got a, a cannon. Well, we've got two cannons down here as well. So we're doing pretty well. They focus um, one and we can focus the other, I think. Drop a lock over there. Awaiting your orders, Commander. What are our orders? The enemies locked on to us. You heard the order, lost the module. Turning up the engines now. Alright, we'll keep dropping chaff. You heard Nothing to panic about. Just keep dropping. You heard the order. There are rails somewhere around here. Just keep dropping. Keep dropping. Right, let's turn the radar off so we keep getting power. There's something over there. They hurricanes? No, still thunderheads. Well, we'll just wait. Still got a whole bunch of chaff left. Our radar back on. Put a lock on that one. Oh, we lost the radar. Uh, uh, it's that one. That one. Drop chaff. On it, command. The enemy's locked on to us. Come on. Oh, I think we've lost power. Our uh, radar off. Drop power. Drop power. Oh, I think they're going to get us. There's our target. Keep dropping. Component 
They're expending a huge amount of missiles here. Um. Let's free up damage control teams. All right, we're into B now. I'll turn the radar off. Now we'll turn it back on. What do you want? If we can uh, turn this back or back around. Engines are shot. Probably got a little bit close, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it. What do we need? We've got repair team two out of five, five out of five. Can we fix this main bus short? We've got nine seconds. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, they also hit all our drives. Oof. Okay. Uh, that's us done there. Let's pull back and watch this. Oh, no, 45 seconds. So we continue to live. If they keep shooting us now, we're, we're pretty screwed. Um, the amount of missiles they expended on us is... Probably a fair trade, maybe a fair trade. I, I, I don't know, to be honest. Um, we'll see how it goes. 30 seconds. Uh, okay, well, this one's under control. That one's under control. We're out of restores, though, so we're sort of screwed. Uh, okay, that's been captured, so we'll pull out and away. And just go back over here. 13 seconds. Can we make it? All right, I don't think we can. We got three catas catastrophic events there. Three catastrophic events there. Goodbye. And there goes the Leap of Henrietta. But the battle goes on. We will build the Leap of Henrietta Mark II eventually. Uh, we've got three points. Uh, they've got two. So we're going to come back out and around. Who needs a track? We might be able to come back up to point A at some point. Turning up the engines now. Where are our friends? What are they doing? Okay, I thought we were safe because we were running with these two, but uh, uh, from Jed Boy, but I overcalculated how many missiles they had. So a rail gun axe fit here from the Vanguard, the War Spite, likely acting as a decoy. So always a target. Sometimes it's better to get the smaller targets than the larger targets. That's where the RPF comes from. And we got some Thunderheads here that look like they will make some contact. Yeah, they are the. Avalon's Missile Frigates? Roll-off mi Missile Frigates. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yes, we'll see how we go. Where is our ship? We might be able to bring it up and around to A. We'll just bring it like there, I think. And give a lock on that. If Moldy gets his RPF on us, though, we are screwed. So the Vauxhall here looks like it suffered some damage. Got the 450s now swinging onto that. And if we come across to Meth Dancer providing support here onto this Axford. Getting some hits. Excellent. Now D. D could be the way to go, actually. I think we go for D. Like that. We're underway. And we'll sneak into D. Axford here. We got a whole bunch of missiles still going. Uh, the Diddler. And so it looks like Meth Dancer's bringing all these ships over. The Sprinter here. Could be the way to go. Signal uh, priority. Uh, 7681. Tapping. Orvet. Or 
that. There we go. I know how to spell. And we'll, if we can sneak down into D, I think we will be laughing. Got a launch of squalls coming out. I can't see anyone being jammed, but that's not necessarily the point. Ooh, okay. Heavy cruiser with cannons and a beam hitting... Oh, that Axford's um, hitting our Axford. That's not what we want. Uh, the voxels have moved off. Point A is being capped by us. Remembering that you need something with um, one within the sphere. So sorry if I just jump back. Jump back. The USD Pittsburgh is the only one in the sphere. And therefore it has the ability to capture. If it loses any of its um, offensive weapons, then something that has offensive weapons can go in and take it. Otherwise... Um, if two ships have no offensive weapons, i.e. all their missiles are just all their missiles are deployed or everything's destroyed, well then um they base basically just sit there. So we've got four points to one squalls, the thunderheads. Looks like Moldy's doing a great job here of um dodging a lot of these missiles. There's another sprinter over here though, and those late game sprinters are quite deadly. Now we've lost a track. We've lost the track for that priority one that I marked, but we'll see how that goes. Target lock achieved. Target lock Where are these for? Where are they going? The enemy is okay, RPF being fired into the frigates. Uh, the 250... 250mm RPF will do the damage to um, frigates. It's the 120s that can't... No, sorry, yeah, they can. It's um, destroyers that aren't affected by the 250 millimeters Maldi's voxels taking some damage here let's sc scroll back in some more missiles being fired squalls being fired as well good shots there good shots there we're still getting our ship in so sorry for jumping around let me just try and position it i just want to get the positioning just right like that maybe let's turn flank off we'll be there before you know it. I think we actually want to move maybe down and like that because we want we don't want these axfords to fire at us we are securing zone dagger. okay so we're getting dagger are actually a way for me to hide behind anything? I don't think so. Uh, 426. I think we're playing to a 1,000. Not 100% sure. Point E has been captured now. Uh, we are capping point D. So that sprinter before um, will be quite annoying. I don't have any weapons on this. No, I don't. Can I provide any locks for team members? Not really. No one's detected me, so that's okay. I think we'll shoot up and over to E after this. One of the ships over here providing a bit more. Okay, maybe this oh the sprint of the war spite. Uh okay, that's gone. That's excellent. There's a lifeboat ejected. The Axfords. Now these are just a duel of the Titans. This one's taken a fair amount of damage. Rail guns and beams rely on a lot of power. So once you hit a couple of these internal powers, um it can get a little bit. You know, difficult. Who surrendered? Okay, so one player's out for team one. We've got uh, functioning ships on both sides because they're not capping point D. So this one looks like maybe it's out of power as well. We've got D. So now we'll fly over to E, I think. Maybe not straight through E. Maybe we'll just go like that, straight line. Hey, that works. So let's just plot this course. Looks like they're going for... It looks like the bandit's going for E. I'm just going to pull back. We're underway. That Axford there. i got to say... Now, I don't think I've ever played with Avalon. But they did really well. Um, that This fleet here, I think, really came in... Uh, clutch, I guess, with those missile strikes because they were able to out-missile everyone else. Um, Moldy's light cruisers as well also taking out some of the scouts 
originally was quite powerful. Um, there are a few still going. These Axfords over here are just still going for it. Uh, and there was a lot of heavy ships in this. There was a battleship. Uh, there's, what, three Axfords there, another two Axfords. There was one over the other side. So, you know, people say that the heavy cruiser isn't really played a lot, but, you know, it it's done. It had a good showing this game. Very heavy fleets. This one here is dead as well. Let's check out the life pods. Shooting their way away. There's a couple more 450 millimeters come in. This Axford uh, just pulling away. I don't think there's much they can do. So whilst this goes on, because I think this is I think this game is largely over. Um, I think we've got the lead. We've already had two players on the other team surrender um, or retire. What didn't the battleship do well? Well, first, it had enough chaff, but it didn't have an interruption jammer, and the interruption jammer didn't allow for me to kite out those hurricanes. Kite out's not the right word. I wasn't able to uh, turn the, like defend against the hurricanes, even with the combined might of two other ships point defense together. Just too many missiles. Um, then we could have used maybe a little bit more power, I think, or um, a little bit more DC. And just to keep it on, I think we got a little bit too far forward, remembering that our range is like 11,000. You know, after the first game after a while, I really wanted to get into the thicker things. It's not how these things need to be played at the longer ranges. Um, 11,000 odd meters is the range of a battleship. You know, I should have been sitting at about 6k. Would have given me time to dodge missiles. Uh, it would have given me time to sit around and uh, choose my targets. And I should have potentially gone wider around this point. So I went straight for it. I should have gone wider and let the heavy cruisers been, uh, soak up the damage at the beginning. And then I could have provided more fire support down to... Um, more fire support down to um, the heavy cruisers and shooting at the light cruisers. So I think that's where I went wrong. Um, I should, yeah, I should have gone around. The, or I should have gone around the side. I think the team play, the team composition was good. You know, we had a whole bunch of scouts. We had some long range support. I think both teams sort of determined that they wanted to clump to a side, which um, spread out and allowed uh, Meth Dancer basically to control the right hand side of the map. And I think he did that really, really well, providing long range fire support. Um, he's also got um, 250 mils and in his interruption jam in there. So he had good long range fire support. He had, uh, he had, um, oh, looks like they've got all there. Who's that? Looks like he, yeah, so he had long range fire support. He had any scouts. Uh, he had uh, Iwa and he had uh, jammers and lockers on his um, two scouts. So I think that was a pretty well well thought out and compiled team to be honest um and then we've got you know axfords over here just with 450s but there's nothing wrong with 450s you know in in a higher amount of in a high sort of volume i think they do enough damage but you know i haven't fully gone into the arm and penetration statistics yet in the, in the you know one of those tutorials so i don't think it's i think it's a little bit hard to say you know uh, i'd like to put together like a targeting list you know uh, what have we got in here? So this voxel is basically just point defense and missiles. Interesting choice, but not bad, you know. Detecting an enemy spiker. Uh, we don't have any offensive capability either. Whose ship's that? Can't tell. Is that Moldy's? Can't tell. So, yeah, well, I think we're just waiting for this to tick out now, but I think that's how I would have approached the battleship. I think the changes, um, the point defense was fine. I think if we had a hurricane, um, I think if we had an, inter sorry, an interruption jammer on it, we would have been a little bit better. If we had positioned ourselves a little bit further back, uh, we would have been a little bit stronger. And I think if we had used the fact that we had a whole bunch of heavy cruisers and missiles, uh, we could have then had the... Uh, various ships here provide that screening force that we desperately needed.
got my commands wrong so yeah all right first game back after a bit of a hiatus um we'll have to rebuild the leap of henrietta but let's just have a look at a battle report so gold sty had uh it must have had a fair amount of points invested into the Vanguard. I think this is the one that had the beam on it, but doing a huge amount of damage, as you can see, uh, and also absorbing a huge amount of damage. I think they were from the missiles. Uh, he had his two spotters as well. Uh, Marvin Groove Shirt, again, I must have a, a huge amount of points invested in the Heavy Cruiser, I think. Um, but or maybe also um, this Light Cruiser, because I think that was the one that had the um all the point defense so it, all the auroras so it's going to need a lot of power moldy's uh three gun light cruisers i quite like them they're always fun and then we've got ocarina as well so what is that one two three four so it's four heavy cruisers and four core four light cruisers plus scout so what a tanky uh build there uh on that side of the team avalon do a fair amount of point damage with these frigates, so missile roll-offs, uh, day, good amount of damage dealt, still live at the end, so really good there, received a lot from here. Uh, Marcella and Catalina, yeah, they don't have any offensive capability, and we just got crumped by those missiles, so 31,000 damage there, but not as much actual damage dealt with the, the HE, uh, AP mix. Uh, and then Meth Dancer down here, the light cruisers uh, doing a fair amount of damage, not so much with the scouts, uh, no offensive capability, and then the rail cruiser from the back. So, excellent game, I all really enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed this. So, thanks for watching, and have a good day.